So, uh, good morning. Uh, hey, by the way, guys, let's, uh, one thing that I think is real important uh, to me is uh, I, I listened to the big hitter call this morning and uh, not sure how many of y'all are plugging into that, but, you know, Larry Waddell to have um, someone like Larry Waddell, you know, Larry and I, uh, Jill talked about last week that uh, Larry and I and, and Jill, we, we, uh, Got to spend some uh, decent time together there at the uh, reception, having dinner. And uh, but you know, Larry's just one of the. I mean, he was really one of the guys that really affected me when I was coming up in the business. One of the original '85, um, and you know, that started the company. And uh, so, man, he does that big hitter call one hour, starts really 7.45. They do a kind of a pregame show. Uh, well, it's a call. Uh, pregame, uh, 7.45 a.m. Central. And uh, But that number, if you are not on there, what I do is just put it in my calendar. You know, I just know, you know, give you an alert uh, every Monday morning, 7.30, whatever, and just uh, jump on there at 7.45 Central. But that number, uh, 667-771-7906. So it's 667-771-7906. But just let that become a habit. You know, one thing Jim Rohn says is if you, you know, um, if you just uh, implement the little things, uh, structure into your life, the, the little habits, then the the big things will, you know, then then it'll, you'll move on to bigger things. That'll affect the big things uh, that need to happen. So, man, I just think that is, I mean, it's free of charge. And to have someone like a Larry Waddell kind of on there uh, asking questions, and he jumps in. And the way Larry, I, I know some of you are already plugging into it, but, um, you know, Larry, will, he'll, he'll talk 20 minutes of the hour just uh because the speakers give him odd thoughts and then he goes off on them and uh maybe pick up these little nuggets uh, just absolutely exploded helped to explode recruiting in the um in the company hey by the way is my internet freezing up at all to you guys it, it is okay so that's a little Huh? It's just a little bit. Just a little. I'll tell you what, let me do one thing here. Uh, yeah, we're, we are, uh, we're supposed to have this super duper internet, you know, wireless and all this stuff in, in my building here. But anyway, sometimes I'll close that door. They're cleaning carpet up here. So I, Open, close the door. Maybe it'll it'll get get better. Um, but anyway, big hitter call, man. Every Monday morning, make that a habit. And uh, t today, Whitney Cooper was on. She's got like a. I mean, she's like a double stud debt. But uh, 18 first generation, I think, is what she said. She's got 15 wide in her base shop, and just uh, just killing it. Uh, but uh, but anyway. Uh, okay, on the month, uh, we have not, we're, uh, the month, man, is we're, 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 we're struggling on the month, this month, uh, but uh, we're going to close out Thursday night, Thursday evening, we'll, we'll close out. Um, other thing is uh, last Wednesday's call, uh, we sent the link out to that, uh, to, to all of you, all of you should have gotten it. Uh, if you didn't get it, uh, let me know. Just shoot me a text that you didn't get it, and I'll I'll text it to you, whatever. But uh, but anyway, make sure that you you watch that. Uh, anybody you got that you think is is real serious about the business, uh, maybe send that to them uh, because you know one thing one of the things we're doing is you know we're looking for leadership, and uh, you know you find them, you don't build them. Uh, but uh, you got to expose that to people. The right kind of person may watch that and say, man, I want to be a part. Um, and so anyway, um, 
the other thing, next topic is the retreat, the leadership retreat. We're doing September 9, 10, and 11, starting off with a 5 to 7 p.m. reception at our home. Uh, Jill's working on that now, uh, doing a uh, Saturday morning session here at the office, 9 to 9 to 1 p.m. We'll probably, we might go to one, we've got a 15 minute break and we're going to have snacks and stuff like that during the break. Uh, so we'll do a, um, a break at 11, 11, 15, 15 minutes. And then so we, we, we may go to 115, uh, 130 at the very latest. So nine to say 130 on Saturday, uh, free of charge here at the office. Uh, the details, the agenda, uh, we put together the agenda. It's going to be, it's going to be strong. We're going to have, um, uh, so we're, we're starting off at uh, 9 a.m. I don't have the agenda in front of me, but I will tell you this. We've got uh, Llewellyn Gray is going to be here going through his little, um, his closing process, his presentation, closing, all that. And, you know, this, this, this young man is just, uh, some of you have seen that. I, th I know Eric has seen it. Tommy has seen it. I have. But, uh, but anyway, he's going to be here. Uh, going through that. So it's going to be kind of some good blocking and tackling on the fundamentals, um, which is going to be great. We've got uh, also uh, Jim Hass is going to be, uh, you know, talking about the investment uh, as aspect of the, of the business. So that's going to be good. Uh, Jill's got a, a talk she's going to do that's you know, it's a, it's a long talk for Jill. She's do she's probably doing 45 minutes. Uh, on what she's something she's been working on for a couple of months now. So uh, y'all will be one of one of the first to to hear that. Um, then uh, I've got some things. We've got uh, also uh, Dan Hall is going to be here. Uh, at the, he's coming to the office, so it won't be on. It, you know, he won't be doing by Zoom, but he'll be here uh, doing uh, forty five minutes. So it's going to be, it's going to pass real fast. Uh, it's it's going to move real fast. But then whoever can, can stay over uh, Saturday night. You know, I know Dominic Papuro, uh, he's bringing six, he and Steph are bringing six people. Um, he just sent me the numbers a uh, while ago. But uh, he, he, you know, there's a brand new hotel called the AC. We sent, uh, we sent you all three options on hotels. If I were you, I would do the AC, uh, which is literally all, really all three of the hotels are really a quarter of a mile from my office, uh, right down here at the township. The AC just opened. Uh, it's a beautiful hotel, little boutique hotel, and uh, he got rates there. You, I think you pay in advance or whatever, and it's 120 bucks a night for a brand new little boutique hotel. So I, if I were you, I would. Uh, he, he just told me that on Friday. So uh, I think that's the name of the AC. It's the one you'll, you'll see it on that list. But uh, David, that's, that was the third one down on the list. And I did, I checked the prices and that's about what I got to you on the prices. So yeah, that's yeah, right. So, yeah, you can't, you can't beat that, man. Yeah. So, the other ones, the other two were almost twice that actually. They oh, were more, wow. they're about 200 bucks a night. Oh, wow. Versus okay. one point. Yeah, well, they see, man, it's it's a cool little place. Jill and I went in there the other day to kind of look at it. So, uh, and they've been building building it for the last two years. So, and there's restaurants all around there, um, you know, there at the township. So, literally, like I said, quarter of a mile from the office. Um, the you know, whoever can stay over Saturday night, then we'll do we'll do. Um, uh, the Sunday, you know, they come to the optional uh, Sunday uh, worship out at Livingston in the chapel. And so that'll be, uh, that'll be a good weekend. It's 10 to 11, 11 a.m. It's over. So, um, so anyway, everybody head out or whatever, whatever they're going to do, or if people need to leave Saturday, that's fine too. So no, no big deal. Um, but if you can let us know how many uh, we need a count so we can plan for the reception, but also the meeting. Um, so if you can just get us a, um, an, a you know, account for that. Worst case, okay, we, we are, if you can't come, 
Uh, hopefully you can come, but if you can't come, then we are going to Zoom uh, Saturday session. So uh, 9, 9 to 1.30 will be Zoom. We're not going to, you know, we're just going to turn the camera on and just leave it going. Uh, so you'll get, you'll get to see the break <laughs> or whatever, that 15 minutes. So we're not going to have anybody. We, we were going to have somebody running and running everything, but we're, you know, we've got a great setup here. So we, we don't need that. Um, okay. Next thing, the futures group. Uh, if you want to see the, if you, many of you uh, sat through that meeting last Wednesday morning. Uh, so I'm not going to go into a lot of details there, but all of you naturally, to me, should plan on, you know, being being part of that group, um, the futures group. Uh, so you're you're officially all all invited to be part of that. You may have some people uh, that that you want to uh go with that like uh, eric and i were talking about edmundo i don't know if he's on I, don't, I can't see everybody on here but edmundo you know uh, guys like that down in uh, sarasota we definitely would want be to be part of that i think eric you said maybe naomi and then uh craig uh craig kinsley has, has got a couple of people cody um cody up in uh, outside of memphis um you know, in South Haven, uh, who's got or he got his investment license coming over from another investment company, uh, Cody, and then Shane Graves, we've got down in uh, Destin, Florida, just passed his life exam last week. So, uh, so anyway, that's going to be, and I, I know Roger, I don't know if you've talked to Joyce about that, as far as you being part of that group, but to me, that's a no-brainer, you being part of that. Um, and bottom line is, we want to use that we're, we're going to do that once a month it's going to be you know the first one is the 12th so immediately sunday after this thing's over the optional worship uh then the the 12th that's monday we do it at 6 p.m and we we're, we're going to do the monthly call for the future group at a time where people can get on it uh, we're just assuming you know a lot of people they may have their full-time job or whatever so it'll be either on a a weeknight, uh, 6 p.m. Central, it'll go no more than one hour. So we're not going to take a, a lot of time. And then, but, or either a Saturday morning. So it'll, you know, just depends on when the month ends, when the month closes out. Because we've got to get the numbers, get the leader's bulletin put together. Rose can do that real, real, very quickly. So we're going to just announce it each month. Okay, it's going to be on the 11th. It's going to be on the 12th, whatever. And we'll just uh, coordinate that uh, as best we can, but we will do it at a time where uh, you can have people that that are working uh, jump on there and be part of it. So um, anyway, uh, the other thing, let me, I'm, so, I'm so okay. So we talked about the retreat. We talked about the futures group. Again, I'm excited about that. We're going to raise up leaders. We're going to this is going to be a coaching, a mentoring uh, group. We're going to have a powerful agenda every every uh, month and you need to think about now, I mean, we'll be recognizing, you know, what ha happens this month on the 12th, right? Uh, we'll have our own leaders bulletin that uh, you, you will get. And so uh, anyway, the other thing, let's move on. Okay. Investments. Um, I, I wasn't able to drill down on this like I wanted to last week, but the, the Primerica is building, you know, an incredible platform of the, not only the next gen life product, which we we feel is going to double life production. Uh, if you, you think about the impact of that, uh, it's going to be pretty powerful on that next gen product. Uh, we'll we'll have that within sixty days on the investment business. Same thing, man. They're all going to a different level. Uh, you're going to see between now and the summer of, of 2023, you're going to see really one of the premier investment uh, advisor, financial advisor programs in the country. We're going to be bigger than everybody. We're already bigger than everybody else. But we're going to, as far as volume, the amount of business we're doing, you know, what's incredible is we can take that account from $25 a month to $25 million, right? Uh, and we, we've got those those things happening now in uh, Primerica. But 
as far as to get uh, coached up on that, to me, uh, on Primary Online, uh, I don't know how many of you watch the Up to the Minute uh, investment program. I think it's a monthly program. And I'm going back now and going to, you know, watch those. Uh, make sure, and I think I mentioned this on last week, but watch that August 19th show. What I would do is start on the August 19th show, which they say is incredible. I didn't have time to look at it last week uh, because it's been a blur since Wednesday. But August 19th, uh, watch that program. What I would do is watch the August 19th show and then work backwards. Just go back to, you know, uh, July, June, et cetera. And, uh, and, and just that up to the minute and let that become part of your uh, toolkit, right? Because I promise you in that show, you're getting the best investment guys in Primerica that are, that are coaching you. Okay, here's how you do this and that and tips, man. So I would do the, man, the up to the minute every month, let that become a habit. Okay, the Lair Waddell deal, you know, uh, every month. Uh, but the also, I believe, I believe it's on September 6th, the new, they're, they're doing a webinar. Be, be on the lookout. If you aren't getting company text on notifications on webinars and, you know, for different services we're doing, mortgages, whatever, you know, the more training you can get coached up on, the better, but the the new pro, I think it's September six. There's a webinar on that, so we need to have that uh, on our on our calendar. Um, okay, as far as my focus right now, uh, my focus is going to be on Monday morning leadership, 10 a.m. Okay, and um, we'll do this 10 a.m. Central uh, every Monday morning, no more than an hour. Okay, um, and then. The other thing I'm going to focus on are the, uh, the the events. We're doing the September event and then the November, the September 9 weekend and November 11 weekend. Okay. So I'm doing Monday morning, September 9 weekend, November 9, 11 weekend. They'll be got the same format here in Jackson. And, uh, and then other than that, really pretty much what I'm doing other than that is just one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, if y'all need me to do anything one-on-one -on -one with you or with somebody, you want me to talk to somebody, whatever, let me know. Then we're, we're just doing everything one-on-one -on -one other than that. I'm not doing the Saturday mornings or anything like that. We've got people, you know, Jim Hans does his uh, Tuesday night training. Uh, but, you know, maybe you, you do your training. I, I know that, you know, different people are in different areas, but y'all may have your training or whatever. But I think everybody on here knows what we need to do to get, you know, you know what you need to do. You're 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 a coach. You you got you got something to teach people. You got you got things to talk about. And so, um, but any y'all want to group up and do things, you're welcome to uh, do that. Um, now, let me get into really. So that that's all kind of side stuff. Let's. What I want to do. Uh, the rest of the time, okay, and, and this isn't going to take that long. But uh, I'm just going to say what I what I need to say here, and then we're going to we're going to shut her down. But we, we, you know, one things that we need to do is we need, you know, we we need to raise up. We are going. We are raising up leaders, and we're looking, you know, to build leadership. So. Uh, the thing about it is, so so let's let's talk about that, okay? Uh, and you know, really, to build leaders, okay, uh, you got to have really kind of a builder's mindset. So I want to talk about that this morning. Is what does that look like, and how do we get people started and things like that? Uh, but you know, I I do believe. Uh, man, now is the time to have the builder's mindset. Uh, if you look at if you look at the marketplace out there, look at um, families, look at inflation, look at. Um, I mean, I, you know, I, I posted something on leadership retreat. The article 
uh, that I was in Bloomberg, I believe Bloomberg, and I, I put a link to that little article about people's, um, you know, uh, 20 million households in America are behind on utility bills. And guys, when you're behind on utility bills, that's, that's a problem, right? So that's one in six homes, one in six households, right, are behind on utility bills. I mean that's a that's a that's a sign right there that man people people are they're looking right if they aren't they sure need to be but uh, with with inflation and everything else and people on uh, people that are on fixed incomes and uh, so whether the part time opportunity or or bringing people in you know to uh, for a new career or entrepreneurship whatever so anyway. It's it really is an opportunity that we we have an opportunity to go help people and serve people and show them a way to help them navigate the waters of this economy. Uh, you know, I mean, look at the market, right? Look at the you know market was down a thousand points on Friday. Is down a while ago, right before the call, is down two eighty five today, uh, but. At the same time, that's a that's a tremendous opportunity. I'll talk more about that in a second. But uh, but anyway, let me make sure that I wasn't supposed to already. Oh yeah, I was. Okay, yeah, yeah, guys. You know, like right now, you know, I know I know Tommy and I've got an appointment as soon as this this is over with a a person that's got a, a big account with us, and you know. Uh, an older couple, and you know we're going to go present, you know the Lincoln level advantage, and you know I mean you think about that that product that has downside protection, right? You can get different percentages of downside protection. You can get, um, you know, makes up uh, tied into an index like a Russell two thousand, S and P five hundred, and any mixture thereof, and then the other. There's a, another managed account or whatever in there too, but but anyway, you can you can go in those accounts indexes and like like the you know look back the last forty years or whatever and every six you know your versus a CD or something like that. I mean a six year product that they can put money in there. You got downside protection. You can tie it to an index and, and every six year period, you know, it's average. 11% growth per year for that six years. And then you got zero fee, right? You, so you have zero fee. I mean, to me, that's like a no brainer. If we would have, ma'am, I mean, we didn't have that 10 years ago, right? And ma'am, you know, we can take and put people in accounts like that and, and, and really, man, help them through this uh, through this time and and you know what a great time to invest is you know again the stock market's the only thing that goes on sale and people run the other way right so man what they need to be running they need to rate, be running like down to Walmart when it goes on sale like that man we need to uh, you know so you know we're going to talk to this couple hey look won't you just take a certain amount I mean take the whole thing going here but Worst case, take just half of it, a certain amount of it, and at least do that with it and get it um, get it protected with that downside protection. That that's a uh, that's a that's a good thing to do. So anyway, but let, let's go back to builders mindset. So now's the time. the 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 need is there. The market's there. Okay. So what is your what what's our why? What is our what is our why? You know that's an important question we gotta, you know, ask ourselves is what what's our why? Well, usually it's about others, your family, you know, um, your community, your charity. I mean, all the things that you want to do as a as a vessel while you're here on this earth, right? Uh, during whatever time we have left, uh, if you're like me, I'm in the fourth quarter of life, right? So my why is very important, um, but then you know, what, what are your what are you know get more specific? I mean, what are your goals? And I think the 
one of the best things we can do with new people is, you know, get them to think about what, what are their goals? You know, get them to write down 10 goals, short-term, long-term, whatever. And then, you know, of course, with our goals, we think about it every day. We don't think about it six hours a day. We think about it 30 minutes a day. What's it going to be like when we accomplish those goals? And, uh, you know, Matthew McConaughey, I saw a thing um, that he did. Um, and someone asked him when he was 15 years old uh, who he wanted to be like. Okay, what, you know, was there a person he wanted to kind of, you know, be like? And uh, Matthew said at 15, he told the person, he said, well, you know what? He started thinking about it. He said, let me get back to you on that. Give me a couple of weeks to think about that. And then so a couple of weeks later, Matthew went back to the person and said, I figured it out, who I want to be like. The guy said, okay, who is it? He said, he said, who I'm going to be like is me in 10 years. That's the person I want to chase. Is what, what can I become? You know, who can I become over the next 10 years? That's, I, you know, in other words, I want to compete with that person. I want to be my best in 10 years. And he said, you know, I'll know I'll never reach it. He said, because every day, you know, it's, he said, I, I don't want to, I don't want to reach that. I want to be, you know, always looking at, you know, a year from now, okay, where, where am I going to be now in 10 years? Right. And he keeps moving it out. He said, I know as long as I keep chasing that guy, that's the guy that I need to chase. In other words, I need to be my best. I mean, I think that's a great thing. I want to be my, I want to be, I want to be better a week from now than I am today. Right. Who got, you know, I want to be, you know, I want to be a man of God. I want to be, I want to have a great family. I want to, you know what I mean? I want to, I want to build, uh, you know, I mean, like my ministry, I've, I've always felt is in the marketplace. I mean, my, you know, I'm a, I'm the coffee guy at my church, right? I get coffee for five years every Sunday morning that I'm in town, but, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm committed and I'm, I support my my church. I love that. But you know, I want to I want to be the best in the marketplace that I can be. That that gives me a platform that I then I can go out there and serve people. So whatever that is, you know, but whatever the goal that's most, you know, one guy I I read one thing said, you know, take write down 10 goals. Okay. And then add, look at those goals and say, okay, what, what goal, which one of these 10 goals will make the biggest difference in my life? And whatever that one is, that's the one he said, then take a clean sheet of paper, write down that one goal. That's your goal. That's what you need to focus on. Right. That's the thing that really, whatever's going to have the biggest impact on your life over the next year. Right. The man, that's uh that's your goal then focus on that uh i mean me initially i wanted to bring jill home from the bank she hated her job and uh, was miserable doing it so i wanted to make it where she didn't have to work anymore uh i wanted to have it to where if something breaks fix it and not having to worry about it you know you're going to be worn, worn out from worrying or working right and worry just wears your butt out right i'd rather I just said, man, I just want to go make enough money where if something breaks, fix it. I ain't gonna worry about it, right? Okay, I need to buy something, go buy it, right? Uh, so anyway, um, so once you get your why, once you get your goals, you've got to, guys, as a builder, you've got to understand, and this is important. Hey, Jill, leave that cracked a little bit because I think our internet's a little spotty. Yeah, we just maybe close the, no, just, yeah, and then barely almost close the other one. But yeah, I don't know. I'm shooting in the dark here, trying to figure out internet. But anyway. It's been good, just, David, since you've made that adjustment, but there hasn't been any glitches since you made that okay. adjustment. Okay, so it's better. Okay, good. So, so what we got to understand, though, from a builder's mindset, okay, you, we got to understand that it's a numbers business right? 
it's a numbers business. Uh, everything is, right? Everything, any, any, you know, uh, I don't, whether you're building a business or a church or whatever, it, it's, it's a numbers business. And, uh, you know, going back to, I'm not going to beat a dead horse, but, you know, the seed sower, and I know that's a spiritual concept. I don't mean to, uh, you know, go that, take that in the wrong direction, but out of the seed, one out of four, you know, hit fertile ground and gave a, a greater return in everything that was planted. But um, so, but, but, you know, one out of four seats. Well, I mean, the other thing you look at that is the old 80 20 rule. I've been here about the 80 20 rule since I came into business. 20% of the people do 80% of the work, right? I mean, I just think that's human nature. I mean, it's been, I mean, to me, that's a percentage has not changed. I know in, since I've been in business over 40 years, four, going on five decades now, that, you know, the 80 20 rule has been around that long. So um, anyway, um, so the thing about it is I used to, back when I, when Jill and I, after my ninth month in the business, we, we moved down to the Gulf Coast. We had a home up at Orange Grove eventually, a couple of years later. And every day I would, um, on the way to my office, I would have to drive by the uh, Mississippi Power Plant on the Gulf Coast. You can see it from I-10 on the right-hand side there in uh, Biloxi well uh and you know it hit me one day you know when they first opened up Mississippi Power generating plant huge facility there off of uh, I-10 and Biloxi um you know when they first opened the plant they what they did well they they took applications for work and they hired all these people well and the thing about it is most of the people that started those jobs didn't stay there but Mississippi Power, they didn't shut down the power plant because their people quit. What they do? I mean, then in the beginning they hired a bunch of people, and then what? Most of them quit. Okay, but a few people said, "Hey, look, man, I love Mississippi Power. Man, I found my last job." And but then they they kept recruiting, they kept hiring, but then they found and they went through enough numbers, right? They went through enough numbers to where they found a, a bunch of people, all the people that worked there that loved their, their job, and they found their last job. Well, now, if you look at the turnover of Mississippi Power compared to the first three years they were open, the turnover now is very low compared to what it, what it used to be. Well, so that's, a growth, that's called you know growth phase of business, and you know what? Your business, our business is, you know, because we're still in a growth phase as far as Primerica, right? I mean, if, um, you know, if the company said, listen, David, you know, what you got is what you got. You got X number of offices and, well, you know what? I mean, our recruiting, you know, desire would dramatically go down, Right. So right now, I mean, we understand that, man, we're, we're in a growth phase. The market, we got 2.5% market penetration. We'll hopefully, you know, top 3% here shortly over the next uh, year or two. But, man, I mean, our goal is to get 10% of the market. So, but see, so, you know, Mississippi Power went through a growth phase. Primerica is going through. Your business will be the same way, right? And so... You got to understand it's a numbers business, but what you've got to do is you've got to, you know, a lot of people understand it's a numbers business, but they don't accept the numbers of the business. And when you accept the numbers of the business, you will play the numbers. I remember the point I was in Laurel, Mississippi, I was probably my third month in. Well, no, no, uh, I came full time after four months over our office. Probably my fifth month in, I said, okay, you know, I was full time. And I, I remember making a conscious decision. I said, okay, you know, you want numbers? I'll give you numbers. And I, and I accepted as when I, I remember specifically almost the day that I accepted the numbers of the business. And man, I said, okay, you know, I, I tried to make everybody make it. I tried to 
you know, I felt bad when people didn't make it. And I just remember getting to that point and say, you know what, all you do is all you do. You know, Art wrote a book, all you do is all you do, but all you can do is enough. And I remember just getting to that point. I said, you know what, I'm just going to be, I'm just going to love on people. I'm going to do the best I can do. But man, I am, I am going to, you know, I understand the numbers. Now I accept them. And so now let's go. And, um, you know, five months later, four months later, we moved to Gulf Coast, recruited 42 people in 60 days, right? And then um, people say, how'd you do it? Well, we did it, everything from finding people in Laurel that knew people on the Gulf Coast. We, back then we ran ads. We, now you can do what, I mean, there's so many different ways to expand your market now. And, you know, we, we'll, we'll talk about some of those uh, at the at the retreat but uh, so but what happens is when you accept the numbers and you start playing the numbers guys what happens is the numbers neutralize the negatives I think so many people you know they beat themselves up over you know well this person didn't make it and they get discouraged with recruiting but really you just got to understand that um you know, you just got to make sure everybody that joins us, we got to we've got to do our best to try to help them make it. If you've done your best to try to help them make it, let me tell you, folks. I mean, that's all you can do, right? You don't need to feel guilty about that when they don't. It's just like me when I managed the health club that you know I would recruit people to the club. And then some people would come one time and never show back up. But the, the main thing I was asked, I said, well, and did I put them on a program? If I put them on a program, right, and then they don't show back up, then it's really on them. Because we were open, we were clean, we had great smoothies, we loved on people when they came in. Well, hell, that's all I could do, right? I can't go get them out of bed, Right. And same thing here. So we've got to play the numbers. we got to, you know, understand the numbers. we got to accept the numbers. But the numbers neutralize negatives. If you're frustrated with it, you just aren't playing the numbers. You, you haven't accepted the numbers of this business. So, man, I don't know what that's going to take. Maybe take a long walk in the woods. I don't know. But, you know, all I know is you, you can't change human nature. And, um, you know, uh, you know, probably people that have been in, uh, um, you know, that have managed a business like a health club or whatever, understand that it's easy, you know, it's easy for me to accept because I did the same thing in health club or people, maybe I think people that have been in ministry or built a church, right? I mean, you know, it's, it's some of the same frustrations I think happen happen there. But uh, you just do your best, and then it's up to them. But but really, you need to play enough numbers to where if somebody quits, it's good because you didn't have time anyway. Right? It's, you know, if somebody doesn't buy, that's great. I mean, you don't you don't say that's great to them, but you to yourself, you're thinking, well, crap, man. I mean, I got I, I remember being at a point to where I was glad appointments canceled because it gave me a little time off i remember being relieved i'm thinking oh my god praise the lord that appointment canceled or this person didn't buy because i got 10 other things i got 50 other things going right that's when you that's when you accept the numbers when you play the numbers then that's uh that's a key most people work work small numbers and expect big results that's a fact most people work small numbers and expect big results. Okay, so the last thing is let's talk about the um, got this. This is this is short. Okay, as far as getting people started. Okay, getting people started. Um, okay, so we what we do is let's say that I'm uh, let's say that I'm I'm uh, bringing. Uh, Eric on on in, in my base shop. Okay, so here's here's what I'm gonna 
to do with Eric. So Eric, look, man. So Eric has told me I've done the follow up interview. You know, always recruit to the next event. What's the next event? Well, when's you know the next event is the next time you get with them. So you do an initial interview. You know, then you then you do do a uh, follow up uh, interview to give more information and reinforce the opportunity. And then uh, let's say Eric says, okay, David, uh, and, and make it easy. You got to make it easy for people to come in here. You know, in other words, worst case, man, get in here. Let's get you licensed to at least do your own investments, do your own financial, get your own financial house in order. And then once you do it, once your fam friends and family know that you know what you're talking about, as you get more experience, then they're going to they're gonna start asking you questions about finance right and so um so as far as uh so what what you do then is say okay eric look you know we're we're, we're getting you so we're do we're going to do your iba and what the iba is going to do eric i can't tell you how many times i've said this what the iba is going to do eric it's going to allow us to get our administrative ball rolling okay so we we've, we've got to jump jump through some hoops to get you appointed with our company, okay? And then the other thing, um, it's gonna you know allow you to get get licensed, right? And we want to see how fast we can get you licensed. And guys, whether you do the class or get online or whatever, I know like here in Mississippi we've got twenty hours pre licensing. Well, to me. Let them jump on the what let them watch that old 20 minute video, which is on my app, on our app, you know, on how to get licensed. 20 minute video from David Harms on how to get licensed fast. But and then but you know, Mississippi, it requires you to spend four hours. We got 20 hours of pre-licensing. It requires you to spend four hours on Primary Online, the the exam uh, you know, online uh, licensing. And then knock that out in, in four hours. Let's go get licensed in a, in a week, right? Go ahead and get scheduled for the test, okay, uh, Eric? So that's what we, we want to do is uh, do that. And so the other thing that uh, we want to do is we want to get you licensed. But see, Eric, what we want to do is we want to kind of walk and chew gum at the same time. Right. So we're going to we're going to we're going to do the legal aspect. We're going to be jumping through our administrative hoops to get you appointed. You're going to knock out the exam as quickly as possible. OK. So the thing about it is, though, um, what I want to do is I want to um, kind of expose you to different aspects of, of the business. OK. And. Uh, so, you know, as far as the, you know, we're going to expose you to kind of really two areas of the business on top of you getting legal and all that. But Eric, what we're going to focus on is the transaction, okay, you know, developing a transaction, developing a client would be a better word. The kind of the client aspect of the business of developing client, I want to I expose you to that, right? And then the other thing we want to do is I want to expose you to kind of the leadership side of our company, right? Which is really what I'm interested in. As a matter of fact, I thought Whitney Cooper today made a great point. You know, is it okay, Eric, if I kind of talk to you as kind of a, of someone that would be interested in becoming a coach with us, you know, or kind of building your own your own uh, company within a company? So. So I'm going to, and of course, naturally, the right kind of person is going to say, absolutely. So what we're going to do, this first promotion is a district contract. Now, if we can do, you know, these are, these are minimal guidelines. What I would recommend, Eric, is let's, let's break through that and let's do more than that, more than is required. Okay. But I'm just going to share the minimums. The minimums three by three. Right, I think you could do a lot more than that, right? But uh, but what you want to do, what I want to do with Eric, guys, 
is I want to get him to take some baby steps, right? Uh, just some baby steps and kind of what you want to do with Eric is kind of move the decision out to where he's not making this life changing decision to go be here for 10 years, right? Say, look, so Eric, we're, you know, we've done your IBA. We're going to, I'm going to expose you to the client aspect of the business and also the leadership side. Okay. And we have this promotion level that's a district kind of, it's a first contract. Basically what it does is rather you started off as a representative, rather than that, you would be starting off as a, as a district, a district contract. You can still be part-time, work your own hours, your own boss, no quotas, but it gives you a 50% contract instead of 25%. Like that, for example, on term insurance. Okay. So what we, what we would do, so we would, to do that, we would develop three clients and then we, we would we would identify three people, okay, that would join the company part-time, full-time, no time, whatever, that they would join the company with you. Now, I would do all their training. You don't have to worry. Because what is, what is Eric thinking? He's thinking, good Lord, I've got to, man, I don't even know anything. How am I going to, right? So you got to overcome that objection before he even says it, right? So you say, look, so... What, so we're going to expose you to the client aspect of the company, three clients, and then three people to work with our company, part-time, full-time, no time. Now, I'm going to work with them. I'm going to train them. But while you're learning, they're learning. But that exposes you to kind of the leadership side of the company. I want you to have both those uh, things that we're kind of, again, we're walking and chewing gum, gum at the same time, right? But you're going to learn everything faster, okay, by doing that. OK, um, so so what I want to in order to do this, OK, what we want to do is I'm going to put the business, Eric, to a reality test, a reality test. And so what I'd like to do in order to kick this thing off while you're while you're getting licensed, if we can do that in the next 10 days, and man, great. OK, but while you're doing that. Let's let's put it to a reality test. Let's take maybe two, three, or four people, right? And let's go, you know, that you know, that you that you have a relationship with. People, and I'll I'll help you decide who that's going to be. We need to look at some of the people that you know and let's talk about them. Who do you know best? Who's your best buddy? Who's your pal who's your maybe a family member like I started off with my sister uh my my ne uh, next door neighbor I'm, I'm my first cousin my sister and my next door neighbor those were my first three right okay and um and so what I'll do is you and I will go see them right and we do it all in one 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 afternoon one evening hour apart but I, I'm, I'm gonna just do a little 30 minute overview it may take a little longer if they ask questions. If they don't ask questions, we're going to be in and out quick, right? But we do it all in one afternoon. We could do it like today's uh, Monday. Man, I got, I've got i got Wednesday night. I could go this Wednesday. We could knock it out. We could do five, six, seven, four, five, six, whatever. And let's say we pick three people. And again, we, we need to pick those out. And I'll help you, you know, what to say to do that. But then um you know we'll go uh give them an overview and we're, we're going to present three things to them we're going to tell them you know i'm, I'm going to cover with them a brief overview of our company who we are what we do where we're going how we're going to get there i'm going to let them know that we're looking for three things we're looking for our, uh first of all we are a leadership company we're looking for people to work and i love what whitney cooper said this morning on uh big hitters call she said you know what now Eric, you know, let's say if Eric takes me to see Tommy, say, now, Tommy, you know, we're, we're looking for three things, okay? We are looking for people to work in a company. We're a leadership company, okay? Eric has joined our company, okay? Now, you you may love what you're doing, Tommy. You may you may love your, your job, whatever. And like Whitney said, you want to be sure and watch them when you say that. And if their eyes roll, right? Like you got to be kidding, 
Right. <laughs> you know, that man, that's a sure sign that, man, you want to drill down on that. So, so we're looking for people to work. We're opening offices. We're very entrepreneurial, Tommy. The, the, the other thing is we're looking for, um, you know, people, if we can help them save money, cut costs, whatever. But also we're looking for people that you might know, you know, they may not be interested, but they know other people. We're, we build through relationships. That's the, only way, that's the only way I build is through relationships. So that's why we're here. Those three things. So we present what I call the Primerica Buffet. Right. So we're looking for people to work. We're looking for clients if we can help save cut call, save money, cut calls, get more value. And we're looking for uh, recommendations. Okay. And so so what I'd like to do, Eric, so we're gonna go sit down. We're gonna go, we're gonna go do that. We go do that with two, three, four times, whatever. Then what I'd like to do is uh, then you and I would like to sit down and have a cup of coffee and let's kind of evaluate where we are. So if we did that Wednesday, then man, Thursday, I don't know what you got going for lunch. I mean, you know, we'd have to get call those people today, get it lined up, scheduled. But Thursday, I'd like for you and I to have lunch, right? And um, and then let's let's kind of evaluate where we are, right? Like I said, it'd be great if next week you get that test knocked out, right? And, and within 10 days. But then we could uh, go do that. And the, the other thing too, um, you know, as far as the, you know, the transactions that we do, you know, develop the clients and then the three recruits. I mean, it may be a lot of times, uh, Eric, if you know people that you think would be good in the business, we'll kind of really lean, we'll lean in toward that, right? Because, you know, a lot of people, what we do is we get, um, it, let's say if we go see three people and let's say if all three of those people wanted to come in with you and come in the business, of course, I train them. But, you know, one of the one of the things is if they want to get their financial house in order, because a lot of people do want to do business with a company once they see what we do, then, you know, what's great about our system is, is we can present this to them. They can do business with a company, okay? Um, it can count as one of their transactions, right? If they do business with a company, you know, it also counts for you. The company has a field training bonus program that for, for every one by one that you do, you get $200, right? You know? And then, so in other words, by if we do the three by three, then you get six hundred dollars training reimbursements, two hundred dollars for each one by one. You get six hundred bucks, right? They get their financial house in order, okay? And then it's it's a win 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 situation, right? Everybody wins. So, um, but anyway, um, so but guys, that. That really, but but then, so you're moving the decision out. We're putting it to a reality test, right? And so that way, I don't want, again, I don't want Eric making some life-changing decision. What I've got to do, uh, and by the time I get to three by three with him, is what that's going to do is that's going to overcome the fear. Fear is going to be gone at that point. we got to kill fear, Right. That takes that takes more people out, I think, than anything else. And so, you know, I think if you if you do that and, and you you go do this 10 times, go do that with 10 different people and make it yours, right? And make it yours. And you, you'll say it better than I say it. You know what I mean? But you got to go do that 10 times in a row. And and then you get good at getting just about everybody in the field, you know, by getting them to take those baby steps, moving the decision out, and then putting it across in the right way, then um, that is a, uh, that's that's a big deal. So, okay, guys, uh, I've got to, I've got a, I've got an appointment basically right now. So I've got 
normally I would like to, you know, do some questions or whatever, but I'm around all day. I've got this uh, one appointment uh, that I got to run on with Tommy, and then um, then I'll be back. I'm here all afternoon. So if y'all need to uh, talk or whatever, uh, just uh, give me a call, shoot me a text, and then we will. Um, but let's you know, let's close out the best we can Thursday night, okay? And um, let's get this thing going, man. Let's let's uh, let's let's play some numbers here. Let's pro promote promote the heck out of uh, you know the uh, September 9th and then the twelfth. Look forward to talking to all of you on uh, the twelfth at six p.m. on this Zoom. So. Anyway, okay, guys, y'all have a good one. Edmundo, good to see you, buddy. So we're glad to, glad to have you here, Ralph, everybody. We appreciate y'all. So uh, we're, we're going to run on this appointment and hopefully do a good investment. So anyway, appreciate